Hi everyone, today I am going to do a pretty collective perfume haul for you guys. So these are some different fragrances I've picked up over the last little bit and I'm excited to share them with you. I found some interesting ones, some things that I might have videos coming up on soon and I hope you guys will enjoy. I love looking at what people are buying, what they're interested in, all of that. So I'm gonna start with Body Mist. I know that's kind of a weird one, but I decided to check out the Victoria's Secret website to see if they had any new Body Mist coming out and they had some new new stuff for fall and they were also running a deal that was like I don't know they they retail for like $20 a piece or you can buy like a hundred of them and pay like five dollars a piece for them so naturally I picked up a few because it was just a better deal the number one scent that I knew I was gonna love like just from fragrance notes let me read you vanilla smoke melt iced coffee bonfire night I was like mm, yeah that's the one I'm gonna like but I picked up four other ones just maybe like oh maybe I'll like them and this is my favorite so so Autumn Shore, if you're on the site, you're in store, whatever, this is definitely the one I suggest. Like it's very good. I already have like a small dent, but I feel like a dent nonetheless going on. Mm, it's kind of like Bonfire Night from Bath and Body Works. Like, is it the most unique? Not necessarily, but it's a beautiful, like rich vanilla. I definitely get that smokiness. And I also get something like iced coffee as well. I do get that little bit of a coffee note in here. So definitely a good one if you love your like smoky vanillas. I think you're gonna like this. It's nice and sweet. Sweet, but not like overly sweet to me and I almost get like I don't know it's kind of like like a vanilla like this really rich delicious vanilla that just drank coffee and smoked a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way, but in a good way. I really like it. Um, so I'm very happy with this one. The other ones are fine, but I feel like overall Victoria's Secret is way more hit or miss than Bath and Body Works for me uh, in terms of the scents, which I find weird because I'm pretty sure they're owned like technically by the same company, like, you know. <laughs> but let me go over the other ones I got. Cedar Breeze. This one says Dewy Rosemary Freshens Glowing Cedarwood Salty Coast. I had some high hopes for this one maybe because of the cedarwood and even the rosemary and it is, it has that in there it's a little bit salty even um but i wish it was woodier i do i mean i wish it was a little more unisex leaning but it's okay beach chill this one is crisp pear with muget petals yeah it's fruity it's pear like it's a little floral you know i don't know to me sometimes with the body mist i'm not gonna lie like i don't know it just smells like sweet fruit to me <laughs> petal buzz is the most rose for sure it's rosebud and electric it has grapefruit and pink pepper i do get those notes from it so if you want like a brighter rose kind of with that citrus a little bit of bitterness like if you like something it's not exact but i'm just saying like more like a fresh rose, Delina Rose type of feeling. That's what this is. And then this one, Sugar Blur. This one's probably my second favorite, although it's still pretty fruity. It's vanilla sugar, so whipped, it's hazy, floating with amber and sheer raspberry. So you get the raspberry, you get the little bit of warmth from the amber. The vanilla is very strong though, so it's very fluffy, really nice and sweet. And if you like that kind of berry vanilla mix, I think you would like this one. So um, overall, they're okay. The only one like truly this one's good like super love this one I would just get autumn shore if I were you but the thing that says like do I want to be $20 for one or do you just do the deal where you pick up four of them I, I know that's what gets me every freaking time with the Victoria's Secret I'd love to know what your favorite Victoria's Secret body mist is because I've tried different ones in the past I know they've rebranded the pink line recently or maybe it's not super recent I don't know I feel like they're rebranding the pink line every second of every day but this one and like bare vanilla uh what is it bare vanilla Vanilla Untamed, I think it is. That's the one I really love. And I just like Bare Vanilla also. This one's really nice if you want a smoky version of all of that. All right, let's do um, a little smelling with each other right here, right now. I bought this from Ross, this Escada Cherry in Japan. I've had my eye on this um, from the Ulta website for a while because of the cherry note. Like, I was excited. Escada stuff tends to be sweet and fruity and kind of showery overall. And I feel like their scents kind of run into each other. They're very nostalgic for me. I remember remember having a Scotta in my collection long, long, long times ago. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. But this pickle bottle, 3.4 ounce, was 30 bucks at Ross, which I thought was a really great deal. Um, this is still on the Ulta website and it's about 35 ish dollars for the one ounce on there. So I thought that was a pretty good steal. So let's see what this actually smells like. 
Hmm. I get the cherry a bit, yeah. It's definitely bright, it's kind of syrupy, very fruity, very sweet. I don't know, it kind of smells like Bath & Body Works. I'm getting something, as it's drying down even the tiniest bit here, a little more um, tart. Hmm, I'll have to keep you guys updated. I really just wanted to see if that cherry note was worth it. I feel like cherry is one of those things I definitely look out for in fragrance. So um, yeah, and I couldn't, I mean for $30, I knew I wasn't gonna be like that disappointed. It almost feels like a safe blind buy because I like, I know what a Scott is gonna do. Like we know what a Scott is gonna do, come on. <laughs> It's a Scotta. All right, let me get into some fragrances. Like I knew what these smelled like before I bought them, okay? <laughs> They're not blind buys, I wasn't just going for it. I guess before I talk about the ones I'll buy, I'll talk about one that I picked out. So this is from Twisted Lily, it was sent to me. I'm an affiliate with Twisted Lily, so you can always use my code over there, LMB10, to save 10% off. They have tons of niche fragrances. They also have tons of samples, so if you live in an area where you can't just go and smell stuff, you don't have niche perfume shops around you, any of that, I feel like they have great prices on samples that you can purchase from them and the code works on that too so this was sent to me from them but I picked it out and I specifically wanted to pick out one that I knew I liked already um so I was like okay can you please send me the Montal Amber Musk this has been on my wish list for a while now and this is really a pretty simple scent overall if you like those kind of warm musky ambers this is a good one to check out it's one of those skin scents and it has that toasted amberiness that I love so if you like juice box cheeky smile I think you would like this it's definitely ambery and I also think this one specifically is pretty good if you um, like the Moroccan smell like the Moroccan hair oil smell or any of those skin scents but let's say those aren't strong enough for you I mean Montal just in general has like pretty beast mode fragrances has pretty strong fragrances and I feel like this is like a skin scent for sure kind of a, a scent that just smells like oh you just smell good like I always think of like the way someone smells if they move their hair and that kind of whiffs around that's what this smell kind of is but this isn't one of those no perfume perfumes this isn't one of those things like sometimes you can smell it sometimes you can't like it still is definitely there while still being a skin scent so if you feel like some of those ones aren't strong enough for you this might be one to check out out, but it's still just overall like a nice everyday wear. It's not overpowering even though I'm saying it's stronger than some of those other scents. It's by no means overpowering in that way. Even a nice base layer too to layer other things on top of. Super glad to have it in my collection and again if you like those types of skin scents, those warm ambery musky kind of scents, I would check this one out for sure. Kind of sexy, a little sensual, I think, as a skin scent. The other three I was excited out of my collection. This is one of the newer ones from uh, Diptyque. I went into the Diptyque store and I'd already smelled this a few times. So I knew this is probably what I was gonna pick up, but I just wanted to smell it in store again, really experience it. I highly suggest you guys, if you can go into a boutique instead of ordering online, sometimes that is really a nice experience. I know it can be a little intimidating. I definitely feel that way sometimes when I'm in there like I don't know sometimes I can feel a little snooty sometimes I can feel a little I don't know yeah just intimidating I don't know how much I'm reading into it but sometimes I'm like Okay, be nice to me. But they were really nice at Diptyque. I'm not saying that's how it was. But they gave me some samples. Like, you know, you can really smell around. And I just think it's fun, like a whole fun experience. And you definitely get more little extras. So if you're into like getting little samples and other things, I think you should go into the boutiques more, especially a brand that you tend to buy from a lot or just a house you really enjoy. I think making that special connection is nice. Anyway, this is Le Papier. And this is a skin scent as well. It's like a powdery, musky kind of, of woody mm, rice note. <laughs> That's what this is. Yeah, Sam always is like, you smell like a baby. Because <laughs> it has kind of that like, like the way a baby's head smells, like when you like cuddle up next to it, it kind of smells like that. I see what he's saying. I really, what I really love about this is the dry down, the way that this has a really almost clean and like comforting muskiness to it. The notes on here are white musk, musk, mimosa, sesame, and woody notes. I thought that it was rice though. Let me look. Yeah, it says Accords of Rice Steam Blonde Woods Mimosa. So it definitely has something soft going on. Again, another kind of skin scent. I feel like I'm either gravitating to like sweet, airy scents, um, really dense gourmands, or like skin scents, or even like more spa-like scents, woody scents. Like that's kind of the realm I've been in lately. And I feel like this one's so unique. There's something kind of creamy going on with that rice accord, something a little bit interesting 
interesting and unique. I also find it interesting when I really spray this on me, I also get something almost akin to licorice or like star anise, something like that comes out. And part of me likes it, part of me is like, hmm, how much do I love, 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 love that? But I love the dry down. I really do. I love this on paper. I love this in the sillage as well. So I think it's one to definitely check out if you like those kind of musky powdery types of scents with the slight creaminess, a slight kind of I don't wanna say weirdness, but something a little bit interesting. I think this one's really nice. I'm excited to have it, glad to add it to my collection. I feel like Diptyque as a house doesn't have tons and tons of things that I really love necessarily. I need to explore it more, and I feel like, you know, your tastes change over time. But so many of the like fan favorites, I don't really, I don't understand it, <laughs> at least at this point in my life. But this was one I was like, okay, I get it. This one smells nice. Another one that I was so excited, I really loved. This one's the newest perfume from from Fleur, it's father figure, so it's a fig heavy fragrance. And this one also though, takes on more of that like powdery, musky skin scent kind of thing. It's not like overly in your face and it's not overly green or like super woody. It's not like Velocicose at all to me. There's something nice and sweet and I don't wanna say like super gourmand, but there definitely is this kind of like sweetness to this that gives me more of a treat vibe than I get like a fresh fruity or woody or green, super green vibe, you know? And I feel like fig can go so many different ways, but this isn't like sappy either. It's not syrupy. It's more powdery and musky and like a skin scent. It reminds me a lot of REM from Ariana Grande, honestly, that also has fig in it. And I feel like the powderiness, the muskiness that has some lavender in it as well. They definitely remind me of each other. So if you're looking for something a little bit more inexpensive than this, um, I think that might be a good option. They're not exact, by any means. That one's a little bit sweeter. This one's a little bit more refined overall, but definitely very similar profiles. And then this also reminds me, like if you really love skin from Clean Reserve, you know how that's like a musky skin scent, but it has that slight sweetness to it. That's what this reminds me of, but with a little bit of fig. Like the, they are very similar to me again and kind of how they smell, how I'd wear them, what they do, all of that. So I'm really happy that this one went this way because yeah, it's very similar to that to me. Um, I'm really happy with this fig um, and that it's a little bit different than some of the other figs that I have. So very fun release. It's definitely a little bit lighter though overall on that scent. All right, and this one was kind of a shocker for me. I bought this in store on a whim. I was in Beverly Hills and it was a perfume shop I'd never seen before. And um, they carry tons of just different niche and stuff like that. It's not Lucky Scent. Um, I can't remember the name. I'll leave it down below. I think it's like Beverly Hills something something. We went in there and they had Fugazi, which I have seen so many ads for this brand on Instagram. I've almost bought the sampler set, I don't know how many times. So I was just like, yes, I get to smell this in store. That's so exciting. One of the scents I really wanted to smell was Angel Dust from them. And that one smells really good. <laughs> it's like exactly what I would expect. I think it has ISOE super in it. So that's why I was like really into it and wanting to smell it. But Sugar Daddy, as soon as I smelled this, I was like, I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Uh, this is such a interesting scent. Um, I'm trying to spray it and I'm having issues right now. <laughs> okay, how can I explain this? I'm not gonna explain the notes right away. Um, when me and Sam were smelling this in store, we were both just like, that's very sugary, but in kind of fruity in a way that we couldn't quite put our nose on. We're like, is that banana? Is that... Like, what is that? You know what I mean? Very interesting, very peculiar, very like, nose catching, I guess you'd say. Come to find out the notes in here, there's like tangerine and black currant. Those are kind of the juicy fruity notes, but there's also, I think, nutmeg and um, cloves, I think, in here. So they add this like spiciness. And so there is almost something kind of holiday-esque about this, but it's still so bright and summery. It doesn't come across as heavy and wintry. There's some notes in here that almost give it kind of a pine, something kind of like um, fir or balsam, like that's kind of going on. It's very interesting I feel like pretty unique very sweet I don't feel like I get the best wear time on it that's the thing I'm kind of I'm kind of sad about but 
you know, it's still expensive, don't get me wrong, but at least it's not like a $300 perfume. Patchouli in here, ambergris, moss, cashmere in. I guess there aren't specifically any notes that are like fur or balsam, but I get that from this. And I just think it's an interesting one. If you haven't smelled this, if you happen to, I mean, I felt like it was hard and I feel very lucky for all the fragrances. I feel like I'm able to smell at least somewhere in store relatively close to me because I'm in LA. But this one I'm really into, very fun, uh, very exciting, weirdly, gives banana vibes somehow. It's also like a really condensed down kind of not syrupy, but kind of syrupy version of uh, Saint Julep from Imaginary Author. So if you've ever smelled that, that's kind of uh, fashioned after a mint julep. So it has, I think, tangerine also in it, some sugar, a little bit of like a mintiness almost. And for some reason, this just feels like if they made like an extra, extra, like the most concentrated version of that perfume, really amped up all the notes, really made it thicker, boiled that down, you know, really condensed it, that's what Sugar Daddy would be. I feel like that's the closest thing I can give you in reference to the scent. Very unique again, um, but I really quite like that one. So that one I was just like in store, I was like, I'm buying it, I bought the last bottle they had. And it was fun to add that one to my collection. Also just to smell the different Fugazi scents. I feel like Sugar Daddy, that one, there's also one called like Workaholic. And that one also, if you're a gourmand lover, is one to check out. It has almost like a syrupy, like maple syrup, um, angel share kind of vibe to it, which is very interesting. So some promising ones. The other scents were all ones I was just like, oh, okay, no, 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 no. No, but then those three, Angel Dust, this one, Sugar Daddy, and Workaholic, I was like, okay, <laughs> those might make it. They, those might make it. <laughs> All right, continuing on, I told you this is like an extra, extra large perfume haul, okay? <laughs> Ulta was doing like a summer sale for quite a while, and they had their dime uh, products on sale for 25% off, and I've tried a few dime fragrances through Scentbird. I really love Dan Le Bois, so good. It's kind of a Baccarat dupe, very woody, airy, sweet kind of fragrance really really love it and so I wanted to get that and I also picked up seven summers which this is more like a cloud kind of dupe yeah this is more like cloud more fruity and airy like good sweet kind of juicy like this one a lot the Dan Le Bois one just has more emphasis on the woods than I feel like this one does. But for 25% off, these fragrances came down to like 30 something dollars a piece. I thought that was such a great price. So I picked up Seven Summers. I also picked up the Dan Le Bois. It's not here. I ordered it twice, okay? The first time it came, they shipped me perfume in boxes in a bubble mailer where there was tons of room for them to move around. So when I got that package, Dan Le Bois, absolutely busted. I mean, it wasn't broken in the bottle, luckily. Like there wasn't glass everywhere, but it was leaked everywhere. It was seeping through the package and the kind of top on it was coming off. So I was like, okay, I think that's because of how they shipped it. That's so unfortunate. I returned it and was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it again. I'm gonna buy it with some other products that I know will ship in a box. I was like, Fine. I will outsmart you. I will outwit you. I will figure this out for us since you obviously can't figure it out. And when I ordered that, all the stuff I ordered came in one box and the Dime Beauty came on its own in a box, mind you, but the same thing, same issue. So I feel like there's obviously an issue with Dan Lebois, unfortunately, but that one was like my number one fave out of all of it. I have like my decants, like I said, from Scentbird that I really, really love, but I really wanted to have the actual bottle, love the price, love being able to find affordable perfumes that I can tell you guys about, but also just for myself, like it's so nice to just be able to spray on a $30 perfume. So unfortunately I had to return that one too. And even when I was returning it, the bag that I brought it in, cause it was like, again, seeping out the package, all that smelled so good. Like even the associate at Ulta was like, that smells really good. I was like, I know it does smell so good. In general, I feel like Dime has some nice scents though. I feel like they almost dupe some of the different celebrity scents, some of the more popular kind of scent profiles out there, but I am excited to see what else they come out with into the future. So yeah, I just added seven summers, but I want to try more from them and they are inexpensive which is nice, but I don't feel like, again, they have like maybe the most lasting power. So definitely one you wanna to touch up with, but I don't hold um, especially cheaper perfumes to the same standard as like expensive ones. So yeah, and I don't mind touching up necessarily. Sometimes I like that. Okay, another new to me brand. I think I was just searching for Grantica for notes. I don't know if you guys do that, but sometimes I'm just like, mm, I really love these types of fragrances. Let me look up pistachio. Let me look up banana. Let me look up all this stuff. So I was looking up pistachio and I saw this one from Sphinx called, it's not on here. What is this? 
creme de pistache and I was like okay I'm gonna get that <laughs> so I went to the website and I ordered this bottle and I also ordered a couple different uh, decants of other perfumes let me read you the notes that convinced me for this fragrance pistachio ice cream Madagascar vanilla milk whipped cream almond that's all in the top okay baby I, that is gonna get me excited. It just is. I love a dense gourmand. I love checking them out I especially love them too when I feel like they're I'm looking for brands that do them densely and do them unabashedly while also still somewhat elevated I don't want them to be too like juvenile or just like bleh. You know, I don't know. It's a fine line. I know I'm asking so much. I'm so annoying. But these are the other notes. Rice, Sicilian lemon, fruits, cherry, amber, white musk, cinnamon, rum. So I was like, honestly, looks so amazing. Um, So I just decided to go for it. I, I was like, I could just order a sample or maybe they didn't even have a sample of this available. But I was like, let's do it. And this one smells really nice. If you're into gourmand gourmands, like I'm talking about like Kiss perfumes. I'm talking about, you know, the more foodie types of fragrances. It could be a brand to check out. I'd love to know, have you tried stuff from Sphinx? Like, is this, I don't really know if this is a brand people are talking about, I'm not really sure. But it smells really nice, but in still like an elevated way to me, you're definitely getting more of the creaminess, more of the nuttiness. I get a lot of almond as well in here. I'm picking up some of that cinnamon. It smells like you walked into an ice cream shop and you know, I believe it that we're eating pistachio ice cream in like a waffle cone for sure. For sure. Really nice. Very sweet. Can't wait to wear this though. Definitely when the weather gets a little cooler just for me because it is so fruity and also has that little bit of spice to it. Um, I really think this is going to be a nice one going into fall, drinking coffee, like, ah, like all the fun fall stuff. This is going to be nice. I also think in some ways that's what I expected Yum Pistachio Gelato to be. And it makes me appreciate Yum Pistachio Gelato for what it it is because it isn't this. It isn't this creamy, lactonic, vanillic, really sweet in this way um, kind of scent. And I like that the Yum Pistachio is its kind of fluffy, marshmallowy, cotton candy sister that still has some um, freshness to it. This one definitely more goes that foodie territory, but still elevated, still elevated. I can pick out all those different notes, especially as it dries down as well. It's not just too sweet, too you know, like you're drinking straight syrup or something. You know what I mean? The other two scents I decided to get decants of, this one's called First Date and I also got the strawberry, uh, what is it? Strawberry Kiss. I was like, okay, let's try Strawberry Kiss. So the notes on Strawberry Kiss, it had strawberry, forest fruits, powdery notes, cupcake, burnt sugar, it was the burnt sugar for me, you know. Woody notes and caramel. It's interesting because I don't get, I haven't worn, worn these. I've just like, you know, been playing with them, whatever. I get some like citruses off the top. Like, honestly, I definitely get that. Definitely get something sugary. I don't get something overly strawberry. It's not straight up fruity in the way I expected. It still smells perfumey in a way. So I, I mean, to me, very promising, even if it's not quite what I was expecting, I am excited to keep using this and keep testing the sample and I feel like it's a house I'm on that's on my radar now for sure for more of those sweet types of scents just seeing what's kind of going on okay first date this one was like woody coconut but seemed like it was gonna be a little bit more sophisticated you know what I mean I had coconut bay leaf thyme almond cashmere wood sandalwood sea salt caramel ambergris vanilla like you know lots of notes I do get the aromatics I get a little bit of that coconut the vanilla is not super rich necessarily, like creamy. I almost get something kind of leathery coming off of here, but just slight, not too much at all. Very like unisex, almost kind of masculine, and it has a little bit of warmth. I think it's that ambergris in here that gives it that kind of toasted warm. In here, it's almost coming off, not burnt, but like a little bit more of that like toasty note I, I mentioned. I noticed a lot of the time ambergris is in there when I smell that. Definitely interesting, a good take on coconut to me. Something I'm feeling more in line with like fan your flames or like a more woody masculine or like aromatic harsher, I don't know, less only creamy delicious version of Santal Complet. I think it is from uh, Fragrance de Bois. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, very promising though overall. Really have enjoyed the different scents from them that I've got to try from Sphinx. And like I said, I bought those. So yeah, anyway, let me know if you've tried anything from Sphinx. If there's a scent I'm missing out on, tell me down below. Okay, I'm popping in here because there are things I forgot. 
mm, I forgot to mention any of the body care stuff, kind of like non-fragrance related, like perfume specifically, but I feel like I like mentioning on the channel and I feel like really is connected to scent for me. So um, yeah, let me share some of that with you. <laughs> And we'll get back to whatever else I was talking about. So I think I mentioned how for the Dime Beauty, I bought the Seven Summers perfume, but some of the body care stuff that I ordered when I was trying to get the Dan Lebois to not be busted in my package um, was from Hemp's. So I got two of the body washes. These were a part of that summer sale. So they're normally $19.99, but they were like 15 or even like 13 or something. They were a really good price. So I got this sugared banana one. It's vanilla blossom, sugared banana, so good. If you want like a kind of Laffy Taffy candy kind of banana scent, this one's really, really good. I've been obsessed with banana. I'm working on something about banana, so stay tuned for that, but highly, highly recommend the body wash. The other body wash, I got Tropical Coconut, trying to live that summer fantasy. This one isn't as coconutty. It has more almost like pineapple and some other kind of, I don't know, it's like a bright coconut, if that makes any sense. Um, there's something kind of tangy to it. So I haven't used this one in the shower yet, so I'll keep you posted. This one, I've been loving in the shower though, absolutely love. If you guys don't follow me on my beauty channel, I made a video kind of resetting my makeup collection, skincare, and also my shower. So if you kind of want to see my shower setup, if you scroll to the end, you'll see kind of my shower setup. I have like tons of uh, shelves in my shower, which I really, really love to just be able to have a lot of stuff at my disposal whenever I'm in there, kind of have my own moment. But Highly recommend the banana uh, shower wash. Truly so good. Um, if you can get it on sale, that would obviously be best. But honestly, it's so big and I love the scent so much, I would buy it full price. But I'll try to keep it. If I find it on a sale, I'll let you guys know. As for the Hemp's body scrubs, I like this one. This one's another banana. It's called the Original Floral Banana. Not the same banana scent. This definitely is more floral. Still good though. Still definitely good. If you want something with more like, almost like white florals in it, I think this is one to check out. The only thing is, scent is fine it's just not a lot of product like i've used this maybe twice and i feel like it's almost gone like these just i feel like for the price the scrub is nice the consistency is nice the smell is great it's just a little too fast i'm using it a little bit too fast it says that it has 7.3 ounces and you get 18 ounces 510 grams in this and you only get 176 grams of product, but they look similar. That's the, the catch. Like only once I got in there, did I realize, wait, there's not that much product in here. So I just don't feel like I can recommend it for the actual amount of product. It just feels like a, a rip off for sure. Whereas the tree HUD, um, you know, this is what I feel like is kind of standard, at least to me, 18 ounces in here. This is one of the newer ones, the Moonlight Glow. I also picked this up. I did a whole tree HUD video. Thank you guys for all the love on that. And for all your comments, loved reading through them. I'm glad you guys were interested in that like I was. So this one is pretty good. More on that kind of perfumey Bath and Body Works vibe that I was talking about in that video. But this has like a deep, it smells like purple berries or purple fruit of some sort. I don't know if that's just the color influencing me, but I get that kind of same like Mon Pari vibe. It's nice. If you like those kind of deeper purple Bath and Body Works, body mists, body washes that come out in the collection, I think you would definitely like this. Definitely a good one. I am so excited for the new fall collection. I will be picking those up as well. Um, I'm really excited for like the iced boba, like the boba one, milk tea, whatever. I'm excited to just smell that. <laughs> Um, they came out with an iced coffee one. I wonder if that'll be different than the velvet coffee one. They came out with the pumpkin spiced latte one again, and then they also have like an apple macchiato. So I am excited for those for sure. I will be picking them up. The last thing I think I have to talk about, this I got from Nordstrom. I don't know. It was put out like it was a part of the anniversary sale, but I kind of want to say it wasn't. <laughs> I don't think it was a part of the anniversary sale. Still glad I picked it up, don't get me wrong. This is the hand soap from Lily lavo in the scent hinoki and in person i was kind of like i don't know do i like this or not it's very woody almost like a, a very dry almost kind of smoky wood uh to me anyway and so in person i was like oh do i like it do i not and i decided to pick it up anyway i love me a bougie hand soap okay i try to deny it but that's the truth that's the truth um i love it this smells 
so good though actually washing your hands i usually like something with a little bit of a a pumice or like a exfoliating thing to it this is just like a regular hand wash doesn't have that aspect but the smell alone is so nice i will definitely be repurchasing this at some point like i think i still have quite a bit left on it i'm not like almost done but it smells amazing sam loves it too um the vibe of this like on my hands reminds me of autumn vibes <laughs> uh from replica mason margella so uh if you really love Autumn Vibes and you want a hand soap that smells very similar to it, this is the one. It's such a great fall scent as well. Sam was like, okay, put that away so we can have it for fall. I'm like, I'm using it. I'm using it now. And if I want to use it in fall and we don't have it, we will use it in fall and we'll figure it out. It truly smells so good. Highly recommend, especially if you like a woody scent. It's like the perfect amount of perfume too on the hands. Like it's not too potent but you definitely can smell it mm, so good really glad i picked it up and proof that like sometimes products smell different once you're actually using them than they do just straight up like you know it's good to experience it the way you're supposed to and kind of like in real time and in real action and i feel like this one definitely smells so good in action as opposed to like just smelling it straight off it still smells good don't get me wrong but the way it actually just like lingers on the hands mmm Mm, fall vibes seriously autumn vibes <laughs> i just wanted to mention those things because there's some nice like bath and body stuff and just like hygiene different scent related products that i picked up recently and i especially wanted to let you know about the le labo hand soap but also this banana mm, if you like banana it's definitely one to pick up they say it's limited edition which makes me so sad uh but you know sometimes limited edition stays around longer than you think so Anyway, back to the rest of the haul. We're getting there, guys. I decided to pick up the new line from Dossier. They came out with more of their originals, which I always find so exciting. And this line was all fashioned around cocktails. It was called the Speakeasy Collection. So all of them were inspired by different alcohol drinks. And I thought that was a fun little theme. And I decided to pick up all four. I am intending potentially to do a review on these. I don't know at some point whether it's a full on video or I do a short or something i'm not sure what i'm gonna do if i'm gonna do it but that was kind of my intention behind buying these from the line there's bubbly spritz and bitters smoky mezcal and cucumber golden rum and amber and then there is fresh margarita and lime so um some interesting scents i don't want to spoil a review so i think i'm gonna mostly keep it there but definitely my number one favorite golden rum and amber this one's pretty dang good and i would say out of all of the dossier originals that have come out by far my favorite. By far one I'll actually even just wear, to be honest. I'll keep you updated with those. Let me know if you've tried them. Did you pick up anything from the Speakeasy collection? Let me know. Okay, we're on to the last couple of perfumes here. Um, I have some travel sizes, and these I either, well, one, I have the Skylar Scent Club. So the month, I think, for July was called Fruitful Bliss, which was just like a nice fruity, I wanna say there's apple in this. Watch me be totally wrong. Very shampoo-y, very Skylar overall. It's really interesting to see the scents that they've been coming out with because I'm telling you, Boardwalk Delight, even the peach fields and you know, those ones are getting away from this kind of fruity showeriness that really was a part of the line for so long. This definitely, I feel like harkens back to more of those fruity showery kind of fragrances with like an apple twist, kind of getting me into the fall mood though, like a fruity bright one for like, as we get into fall. I don't know why August feels like, ooh, back to school fall time, but it's gonna be hot for like a long while. <laughs> These other ones, two of them I got from like Ipsy stuff like that if you guys don't know I have a whole video dedicated to just my travel perfumes like that are branded that are like from brands not just decants and I got a lot of them through Ipsy BoxyCharm things like that if you guys aren't signed up for them I'm not sure how accessible those sales are for you but I found them really great for getting some different perfume brands in the travel sizes I really love having a large collection and just having a lot of different things to smell and sniff one of my favorite things is when someone is talking about perfumes and I can go, oh my gosh, let me go smell that. And I either have a sample or a decan or something where I can smell that perfume and what they're talking about in real time, like almost smell a vision. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I love when they have these like travel sizes, which a perfume travel size now are like $30. They used to be like 20 and then they were kind of like creeping up to 25. And now so many brands are like at least $30, which is so annoying. 
okay? Very annoying to me. Anyway, I have one here from Lake and Sky Saffron Dusk. I wanna say that these were more like $10, $12 a piece, so I feel like that's pretty reasonable. This is definitely a, a nice saffron type of fragrance. I get that like wateriness that saffron has, a really nice unisex, uh, kind of sexy, but still airy type of scent. If you're really into saffron, this is one, two for sure. Check out, it has a light sweetness to it. I wanna say maybe violet. Nope, absolutely no violet. <laughs> It's rose. I think I'm just getting that wateriness from the saffron. That's what I get from it. Like even when I smell saffron straight up, um, cause me and Sam actually, we bought it just to smell it. I was like, I want to smell just straight up saffron. It's not something that like my family ever really cooked with. And I get this like almost distilled water medical kind of latexy smell, which I find so interesting cause I don't expect to smell that from like a spice in that way. I don't know. Let me know what you smell from saffron, but there's leather in here. I definitely get some of that as well. And I think that leather and saffron play really nicely together. Vetiver and sandalwood in the base, really, really good. I think if you're looking for something that's, um, I don't know, it's like kind of like Te Noir from Le Labo, like not in scent profile, just like who would wear this, why they'd wear it. If you wear that scent every day, this could be an everyday scent for you too, if you want something different, but like same vibe, you know what I mean? Very nice, a little bit sexy, and a really good one for a unisex kind of scent. I do have another Lake and Sky here too. This one I did not get from BoxyCharm. I paid full price for this. I just really wanted to know what it smelled like, and it wasn't at any of the stores, and I was just like, fine. This is called Apare, I think, and it's different than I thought. I don't know why. It's not even on Fragrantica yet, and so that was another the reason I really wanted to try it. There's a fig note in here, so that had me excited, but this comes off a little clean, a little, mm, I don't know, I, I'm not obsessed with it. I don't think it's bad, I think a lot of people would like it, but I think because the notes in here it says, a floral woody scent crafted around warm fig, creamy musk, and floral notes of orris and violet with sandalwood and amber. There's a sweetness coming off that's a little artificial. I'm assuming that actually is the violet in this one. I mean, not that the violet's artificial, but sometimes violet can just go very, very sweet. Um, even in like things like Mojave Ghost, it's quite sweet and watery, um, and I kind of get that from here, but but then the lemon, I just need some time with it. It just feels a lot more masculine than I was expecting, kind of like cologne -y. And so, yeah, I wish I got more fig. Smelling it, I don't even know if I would get fig from it. Like, I don't even really think I would identify it otherwise. So yeah, that one isn't necessarily my fave at the moment. Some things just take time. Sometimes you just need to get familiar with a scent. That is one of the reasons I always suggest like, have it either a sample, try it multiple times, or even if you buy a bottle, and initially you're kind of like, eh, like give it some time to marinate. Not only like actually like macerate in the bottle potentially, but also smell it in a different season, smell it at a different time of day, smell it after you've been out in the sun, smell it once you're like getting ready for the night. Like there's just so many different ways to smell scents and they hit different, but also sometimes the scent just being brand new, at least for me, um, I just need a little bit of time to familiarize myself with it for me to really know what I'm getting, what I'm smelling, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Give it some time, just, you know, it can be disappointing, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Give it a little bit of time. See if you your thoughts change. All right, the other one though that I got from BoxyCharm, this is the By Rosie Jane in the scent Rosie, which is just like a musky kind of skin scent, like no perfume perfume. And I think this is one of their like best sellers. I feel like these are quite popular right now. So it's not as unique as it probably once was for the brand, but definitely kind of nice to have if you like those kind of musky scents, it's one to check out for sure. And really, I mean, I have some samples here from Louboutin because again, Again, when I was in Beverly Hills, we went into the Louboutin store to see if they had the full lineup and they do have the perfumes there. Not all um, Louboutin stores do have the perfumes. So I suggest if you're in Beverly Hills, if you're in LA and you wanna smell all the Christian Louboutin fragrances, they have them all there. They were so kind. Again, another intimidating moment. I'm like, I just am here for perfumes. I don't care about the shoes. I don't care about any of that. I'm just here to smell. And I smelled all of them. They gave us some samples. They have one with like the Seahorse, I think that's their newest one. And it's kind of this vanilla. It's very interesting. I thought it'd be more marine -y, but it's uh, a nice light vanilla. And I love the bottles. The Christian Louboutin bottles are beyond beautiful. I'm just trying to figure out which one would be the right buy for me because they're very expensive. The bottles are so weighted though, so nice. The caps are so ornate. Sam loves them too. We had so much fun just smelling them. They were so kind. They were like, oh my gosh, no one ever comes in here for these. Like they gave us test strips. They were like telling us their favorite. It was 
really nice. And like I said, we got some samples too, which I thought was just really kind. So go into the boutiques if you can. I know obviously not everyone has them near, but if you have a store, you know, just be confident you're there. They don't know what you can buy or can't buy, okay? And just own it, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these. I'd love to know any of your thoughts, especially on like the Fugazi stuff, the newer scents from Diptyque and Fleur, even the Amber Musk. Do you guys like Amber Musk? Let me know. What do you like to layer it with? Uh, I'd love to know that. Let me know what you've bought recently. What are you smelling? What are you enjoying? I just love hearing all your guys' perfume thoughts down below. It's so fun. Thank you so much for being here. And other than that, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.